Good morning, friends. Welcome to the current geographical concepts. Today we are going to study about the tropical cyclone Freddy. What is the uniqueness of this Freddy cyclone? Never unprecedented in the history of the earth. A tropical cyclone which has lasted for 37 days. Normally tropical cyclones takes birth during certain conditions like uh, it can take, take birth over the tropical waters with the temperatures 26.5 degrees centigrade. There must be enough Coriolis force, enough Coriolis force. Coriolis force is nothing but the rotational force of the earth where the vertical wind shear, the vertical wind shear should be very low. These are some of the few conditions for the occurrence of the tropical cyclones. The tropical cyclones in the southern hemisphere normally happens during the uh, during January and uh, February time period. This particular cyclone, tropical cyclone uh, Freddy, which has taken birth off the coast of Australia. Suppose if this is Australia and this is Indonesia, off the coast of northeastern of Australia some few hundred kilometers northeast of Australia and a few hundred kilometers to the southwest of Indonesia. It has taken a birth as a, uh, as a common tropical cyclone which normally dissipates somewhere after the landfall. It will be dissipating uh, within a few week or maybe 10 days. But this particular tropical cyclone has started its journey right from the northwest, northeastern side of the Australia towards the west transversing the entire the south indian ocean covering an area of almost all 8000 kilometers and finally it has had had a landfall at the madagascar it has taken birth around some 5th of february 2023 and it had a landfall around some 21st of february at the Madagascar. If at all I am showing the picture, it is something like this here. This is the area where the tropical cyclone has taken birth here in the northeastern part of Australia and it has taken a, a, a eastward direction and then it took a U-turn and started moving towards the west. Tropical cyclones generally, generally move from the eastern part of the ocean towards the western part of the ocean since they are guided by the trade winds and therefore the tropical cyclone pretty also is coming towards the west like this normally it will be dissipating somewhere here after five days or maybe one week or maybe hardly 10 days but this particular cyclone which is highly unique of its style it transfers entirely right from the the eastern part of the indian ocean in the southern hemisphere towards the western part of the indian ocean traveling through the Reunion Islands, creating a sort of devastation in the La Reunion Island, also to the Mauritius region. Then it reaches, it reaches the, the southern side of the Madagascar. It had a landfall on 21st of February in the southern Madagascar region, somewhere here, devastating the region. And also because of its intensity, it traveled crossing the Madagascar island and again got energized here in the Mozambique channel. This channel is called as the Mozambique channel. This is called as Mozambique channel. As these are the shallow waters and the temperatures of the waters are very high and therefore the conducive climatic conditions are there for strengthening the tropical cyclone. Therefore, it got again intensified had a second landfall here on 24th of February. On 24th of the February, entered into the land. See this one, it's entered into the land, creating devastations in the Mozambique country, also parts of Zimbabwe, parts of Zimbabwe. And again, it has taken a U-turn to again reach the channel of Mozambique, where again it got energized. It went up to the coast of Madagascar, then again it has taken a turn towards the northeastern side. This time had a second landfall on 11th of March again. 
see how many times it is having landfall this is the first time this landfall again the second time landfall came out and instead of entering into the Madagascar again it went back after taking a loop then it has another landfall on 11th of March devastating the Mozambique channel and Mozambique country along with the other country called as Malawi. Some hundreds of people were killed because of the intense tropical cyclone. What are the records? The records that were broken by Freddy. All these uh, can be an important segment for you in the preliminary part or even the main part. Some of the important uh, uh, terminologies. Let us see the terminologies. Normally, these terminologies you won't be coming across in the general uh, general classes in the uh, in the UPSC. Let us talk about the first and foremost uh, terminology, which is called as ACE. What is this ACE? It is called as accumulated cyclone energy. It is called as accumulated cyclone energy. What is the literal meaning of the accumulated cyclone energy? It is the complete strength of the tropical cyclone right from the birth till the dissipation. Here this is the dissipation. This is the place where the birth has uh, birth is there for the tropical cyclone. Right from the birth till the dissipation, how much of energy got accumulated? This is called as the accumulated energy. And in the case of Freddy, earlier it was uh, that there was a record of 85.27 ACE. This record was against the hurricane. Hurricane, it is against the hurricane Loki in 2006. But this record was replaced and it has, it has built a new record. The Cyclone Freddy has created a new record of 87.01 AC. This is a accumulated cyclone energy this can be one important question how the question can be asked accumulated cyclone energy recently is seen in the news what is the highest accumulated energy and which is the cyclone this is the highest amount of accumulated energy at the same time it is the cyclone freddy then other very important terminology that you can come across is called as uh, the other important terminology that you will come across is called as rapid intensification. Rapid intensification, which is uh, given as RI. What do you mean by this rapid intensification? Normally, any tropical cyclone, as long as it stays on the tropical waters, because of the two feeding factors, one is called as the latent heat of evaporation, another one is the winds which are circulating which comes out from the top of the cyclone and again joins from the bottom because of those uh, two feeding factors as long as the tropical cyclone stays on the water body it will be keep on intensifying but there is another word called as the rapid intensification why this rapid intensification what is the importance of this rapid intensification what do you mean by rapid intensification Rapid intensification is defined as any wind velocity, any wind velocity more than 55 kilometers per hour within 24 hours. If there is a gaining of, if there is a gaining of wind velocity more than 55 kilometers per hour within 24 hours, which is called as rapid intensification. This particular cyclone, the so-called uh, uh, the cyclone uh, Freddy, it has got rapid intensification not one time, not two times. It has altogether has uh, had a rapid intensification for seven times. Never unprecedented in any type of cyclone. Never in the history of the earth where the tropical cyclone which has rapidly intensified for seven times. Earlier there was a uh, record of only just uh, four times of four times of rapid intensification, but this Freddy has intensified for the seven times within the lifespan of the Freddy cyclone. It has got intensified seven times. Basically here in this area in the channel of Mozambique, it got intensified and became a very severe cyclonic storm. With a wind velocity of more than 130 kilometers per hour. 
This is about the tropical cyclone Freddy. As I already has given, it has stayed for almost uh, some 37 days, which is ever recorded. What was the uh, what was the tropical cyclone which was having the longest lived tropical cyclone in the history of the earth earlier? It was of 31 days by the hurricane John. This is the path. It came like this. After hitting the Reunion Island somewhere here, then it came and hit Mauritius, then had a landfall here in the Madagascar. It again entered into the water body, got intensified, had a landfall here in the, the Mozambique region, entered till Zimbabwe. See, this is the Zimbabwe region and the Maputo region of South Africa. Came back again, it take a loop, had a second uh, turn back again into the Mozambique channel. Again got rapidly intensified, came up to the uh, coast of uh, Madagascar, again went towards Mozambique channel and had a second landfall on say, 11th of March. And it has got, it has showed its fury even in the country like Malak. This is the path of the tropical cyclone. Some of the few images of the tropical cyclone Freddy. See, this is the tropical cyclone. Since it is a southern hemisphere, it is in the direction called as clockwise. Whereas the tropical cyclones in the northern hemisphere are always anti-clockwise. This is the clockwise direction uh, uh, cy uh, tropical cyclone. See, this is the real image of this one. This is the Madagascar, this is the Mozambique and this is the landfall. Landfall along the channel of Mozambique. This is the path. How it entered from the reunion, from the Mauritius, from the Madagascar, entered into the Mozambique for the first time, again came back, hit somewhere here. It came and it has taken a U turn and it hit the Mozambique, entered into Malawi, devastating Malawi, creating a great havoc, and there are hundreds of casualties as of today. This is the recently received, uh, released the meteorological organizations. Uh, animated image, the path of the tropical cyclone. It came back like this, had a U-turn, then entered a landfall here in the Mozambique, then moved in Malawi, and uh, this is the country called as Malawi. And finally got dissipated here. The tropical cyclone lived altogether for 37 this can be a very important question for you both in the prelims as well as the mains. Take care. Thank you.